entrepreneurs. Uh, did INEC go into a shell? Was INEC hiding from the public? Or what exactly went wrong? No, <laughs> we, we, were not, we were not hiding. Um, we were... Good day, viewers. I'm Chris, Secure Future Village. Update, my people. I want to wish you all happy new month of July. This month of July is very significant to us, especially in our journey of political pursuit of the court proceeding of Peter Obi. 3rd of July is when the, all the allegation level against INEC and PDP. INEC will come to court to present itself to defend the allegation. And I wonder all the evidence, video, how is INEC going to defend this? Let's hear from INEC public relations officer and voter sensitizer, Mr. Okoye, as he speaks. Please share this video and follow this page for more trending video and daily updates. I'm Chris, Secure Future Vlog. Thank you, my people. Election results. That issue of uploading, whether it was a hardware issue, whether it was um, a software matter, is already before the presidential election petition uh, court, and I will not go, go into that. Mm -hmm. Moreover, my knowledge of technology is very, very limited. So if you drag me into technological-related issues, I will just get lost no, so, in the process. So this is, this is it. You, you, you might, it might not be your expertise, yes. but because this is an engagement that you had with Nigeria, I promise you made to Nigerians, this is INEC, the destiny of Nigerians and the Nigerian people's hopes and aspirations about a process which they believe ANEC was going to be transparent and come straight to them. So if there was somebody who was responsible who failed in his duties, or if it was a machine problem, or it's a human error, what failed? Is it human or machine? Well, as, as an individual, I will have an opportunity of understanding the intricacies of what happened the moment we begin our own internal review process. And also the moment we also begin the external, external review uh, uh, process. So uh, INEC does not know now what had really happened? I've, I've told you what I know. No, the, the, the point is, sir, yes, yes. Uh, and I know, yes. if they take light in this building right now, it could be a generator or from the source or solar. There are possible three ways by which we can generate power in this room right now. If they take light from the source, which is NEPA or PHCN, we put on our generator. If our solar fails, these are possible three ways. I'm not in that, in that area, but I could tell you that power will be restored because our engineers are putting on the generator. So it could be that our, gener uh, our engineer had gone to have dinner somewhere else, and that was why the gap of the minute in which they took light and we couldn't restore it. So that's what I'm asking. In layman terms, was it a human error or a machine error? Well, all I know is that there was a glitch. There were challenges with uploading of the presidential election result. That is all from a layman's point of view that I can explain. So nobody has been held accountable within INEC? It's, it's not the issue of holding anybody accountable. What it's, failed? There, no, were, no, there no. were monies, millions of Naira, Nigerian taxpayers' money mm. that have been entrusted in the hands of, uh, of INEC to prosecute this election. A major part of it failed. And Anik described it as a glitch. So explain to Nigerians if it's human or machine. Let, let, Doesn't, so that you don't get, I know what no, you're no, trying no, to no. run away from. I'm, I'm not running You don't away. want to get into the arena of what the tribunal is prosecuting right now. But just tell Nigerians it was human, it was machine. No. So Nigerians can then hold their breath and wait to what, when the, the defense of INEC comes. No, 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 no. Let me explain something to you. W when you are using the word failure, you are using the word failure in a very generic, generic sense. Mm. And, that, and that, is not, that is not right. Now, that machine you are talking about has three components and three elements. When we were in doing the voters' registration process, we used that particular machine for purposes of voters' registration. When we are doing voter accreditation, we use it for voter accreditation. And then after election, we also use the same machine for result upload. So it is only one component of result upload that we are talking about. So the machine has not failed. The machine was used successfully in terms of voters' registration. The machine was also used successfully in terms of voter accreditation. And the machine was also used successfully in terms of result upload. We are only talking of result upload for the presidential election only. So it is not true, true, true and it is not right, and it's not correct uh, to insinuate, even remotely, that 
oh, taxpayers' money was wasted and the machine did not work. No, the machine okay, worked so optimally. I look at it in this way, yes. uh, Mr. Okoye. If you are to buy a vehicle, mm. and what you are concerned about is you paid for the vehicle and the vehicle is delivered to you. But when they give you a story that on the way from Mena, uh, in between Mena and Abuja, the vehicle break down and something happened, you don't want to hear the story. What you want is the vote you paid for to be delivered to you. Nigerians paid for an excellent election. And midway, something happened when you promised them that results are going to be uploaded on IREF as a transparent uh, process to be able to monitor and circumvent any kind of fraudulent activities on the, on, the, on the exercise. But then it happened on two of the three elections. On one, it did not happen. So that means that Beavers worked, but where you're supposed to upload it in the cloud or in one machine, it did not come, and it did not come in one of the elections out of the three. The Nigerians are beginning to worry. Let, 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 if it was a human effort to, to hold on to that result. Let me, let me give you an example. I boarded a plane coming from Anambra at the Anambra airport. All of us had already boarded the plane. And then suddenly uh, the pilot said that there was a problem with the computer of the aircraft and that he had called Lagos and that Lagos has asked him to shut down the plane and restart it. And he told us that what he's doing is akin to a computer, uh, a, to, to a mobile phone hanging, and then you switch it off and put it on again. So even in aeroplanes, sometimes you experience uh, that type of challenge. I have seen, you can buy a vehicle today and it will have a problem. No, no I, doubt. I've, I've seen vehicles that, that we are recalled to the factory. Mr. Okoye, because of factory do you realize that yes. Nigerians are very reasonable people? Oh, oh, definitely, they can yes. understand with you if you have a problem. Genuinely, they will understand. You have a, this is not the first time Anek has had logistics problem. And Nigerians will understand, oh, you are going to postpone the election. We will wait the next two weeks when, when you want to hold it. But when you have raised your hopes and you said this is going to work, I did not work. Don't you think that they have the right to ask, especially when the, the only reason why people pay tax is to see the effort of that tax being used? Well, let's take a break, Mr. Okoye. When we come back. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Chris Secure Future Vlog. Also follow my Facebook page so that I'll be updating you for more trendy video and more news. Thank you and remain blessed. I'm Chris Secure Future Vlog.